doctor from Kakani Medical called it Project Omni. She said it was my decision to volunteer. But when the other option's prison, that's not much of a choice. The doctors were trying to find a way for Albion soldiers to communicate. Using just an optic and their thoughts. And when I woke up, I realized I could echo their thoughts in my head. And I could control them. They took my freedom, caged me, and experimented on me. So I ripped theirs from them. devastated three sites in London. Authorities are asking residents to remain in their homes as the situation continues to develop. We have received no official casualty total, but it is expected... Evening, mourners gathered for a series of candlelight vigils that brought closure to thousands of families and indeed to an entire city. London is now laser focused on... ...today at 10 Downing Street, where Nigel Cass, CEO of private military company Albion, received a mandate to secure London. Cass has vowed to hunt down DedSec. The terrorist group response is by a horse. Albion used cutting-edge artificial intelligence systems and autonomous drones to capture the remaining members of DedSec. A stark warning to would-be insurgents. Top corporations are posting record profits due to increased efficiencies in production and distribution, enabled by the use of technologies initially developed and approved for security purposes. Up as crime numbers take a dive. Illegal gambling, drug trafficking and prostitution all down following prosecutions of the leaders of four of London's five largest criminal syndicates. The streets of Camden and Brixton. Londoners, as Albion's mandate is extended indefinitely by the government, life finally begins to return to normal. Curfews and travel restrictions have been lifted in all boroughs thanks to the deployment of news outlets. Reports of rioting in Trafalgar Square have been greatly exaggerated, possibly by foreign meddlers pushing a false narrative through social media. Albion is in complete control of a few of three to reprimand the public about the circulation of fake news. Conspiracy theories persisting in dark corners of the internet that terrorist group DedSec were framed for the bombings have been roundly rejected. Our own reporters could not find a single Londoner willing to expound those theories on camera. The facts simply do not support any other story. I need to assemble a team, but I can't reboot DedSec alone. Let me break into London CTOS and see who's available. Shit. The situation is worse than I thought. Ah, uh, but there's a candidate. Looks like you're DedSec's best hope. I've located an interesting potential recruit for you. They claim to have recently escaped from, and I'm paraphrasing here, an evil lab. I can't verify that, of course, but their abilities are real enough. Sick. We need to recruit this girl. I had the same thought. Wherever they came from, they'll be a valuable asset to the Resistance. I'll set up a meeting for you. Please tell me you're from DedSec. If you don't tell me you're from DedSec, I think I might actually be crazy. I'm with DedSec. Oh, thank God. I barely got out of that horrible place and then I got contacted by a Bagley. But it was being really rude and yeah, it just didn't seem real. But it is real, isn't it? Just chill. It's all right. Maybe we can do something. Well, I don't know. Like, everything's fuzzy. Like, I just need a while to get my head right. The rude Bagley said you had a safe house I could use. Uh, I'll help you out in the meantime. Welcome to the club. My name's Mina. These powers weren't my choice. But what I do with them now? That's up to me. And it's time to fight back. <laughs>